Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today, we're gonna to quickly go through, harvest all of my peppers. We're probably gonna get a frost tomorrow morning. If not, it's coming this week. May do some of the cool weather crops, peas. The, the pods themselves actually don't like a frost if it's too hard, they get a little uh, soft. Same thing sometimes with uh, broccoli heads. But today, I really wanna get all these pepper plants out. I'll do a lot of cutting, go through this really quickly. But it's been such a warm fall, I have all these peppers that need to come out. These are the bell peppers and some cayennes from that area. I'm just gonna put them all up here on my back porch. Whoa. All right, so that's the start. Let's go get some more. This is a garden inside my front yard. These are tomatoes that self-seeded. They've been growing here about 90 days. No care whatsoever. I mean, they look fabulous. So tucked in here, I have some peppers. They're mostly sweet peppers, some uh, jalapenos. This is for my wife, so she can just come out the side door, get what she needs. So I'm gonna get in there, harvest all of those, and we'll keep moving on to all the peppers on the property. All right, here's bag number two. And I'll separate these into sweet peppers and hot peppers. Right now, I know I have the cayennes, I have jalapenos, which are easy to separate. The rest of these are sweet. Here's another pepper section. Good to grab some of those eggplant. When the eggplant are nice and purple, dark purple, they're ready to go. Hey, you can hear uh, Willow in the background. She wants to come out here. When they start turning that yellow color, they're past their prime. They've just been sitting on there. I have some uh, habaneros back there, scorpion and ghost peppers mixed in there. They're all going to come out last, but I want to grab these jalapenos and then we'll go over to where I have eggplant and even more peppers. Let me get all these. Let's stop here for these plants. These are habaneros called roulette. They don't have any heat to them. Mad Hatter's in there. And like I was saying in my video from yesterday, Friday Morning Ramblings, I think episode 42, I want to concentrate all the peppers in one area so I don't have to bounce around through the garden. But these are absolutely delicious. Sweet habaneros. Forget about these bell peppers that I put in here with the sweet potatoes. Be harvesting all of these uh, in about a week. Quick preview again. Take a look what's down there. So these are all bell peppers. I mean, look at all this. Let me get these out of here. Just wanted to show you what I pulled out of there before I bag it all. Again, these peppers are outside the main garden and I keep asking myself, why did I tuck them in everywhere? I know why I did, because I don't want to waste any plants. But it gets hard to tend them all. But just look at all these beautiful peppers. So this area is getting more shade now that we're into the fall. So the peppers didn't really do well. But there are a couple eggplant in here tucked around in different places. One way down in that corner. Let me grab all of those. Bag number three. And then next we'll get out to the poblanos and some of the hot peppers. So in here, in 10 gallon root pouches, I have my Facing Heaven peppers. These are gonna be dried whole, uh, crushed into flakes, and I'm gonna collect seeds out of the ones before I dry them. And I'm gonna sell them at my seed shop. But you can get these root pouches at the seed shop also. But just look at two plants in a 10 gallon pot. Just crazy. So I'm just gonna cut these back. It'll take me forever to harvest them one at a time, and it's starting to get dark. And I will process them over the next couple of days. Also have poblanos growing in the same containers. I'm going to take those and then we'll go over to the uh, other poblanos that I have growing in the sunken containers. This is the last section of hot peppers. This is what we got out of, it was actually only one poblano plant in there, but it's two uh, facing heaven peppers. Pretty good. So I have more poblanos right in there. You can see the red ones, some of the brown ones all in there. Going to pull those out and again, all the facing heavens will just be cut back and brought in. Poblanos, I'm going to uh, fry and sear, peel the skin off of them. They get this clear skin on there that's kind of tough. And then I freeze them and I just use them when I need to over the winter. So poblanos, some jalapenos are in here. Oh, there we go. That's all of them. So the facing heaven I'm going to put in my garage because the frost is supposed to come tomorrow morning and then I'll deal with them later. But it's looking pretty good. Now I have to get to the super hots, some Thai culinary, maybe pull some broccoli. We'll come over and take those 
thicker cayennes right there, the red ones that you see. Those are good for drying too. And in here, those are the Thai peppers. They look like the facing heaven, but they're a little bit different. I will harvest them the same way as I did the facing heaven peppers. And I think that's about it. A couple more stragglers here and there, but I think I'm pretty good with uh, saving all these peppers. So I did forget the uh, super hots, the ghost, the scorpions, and the habaneros. I'll go get those. And not too much left. Nice head of broccoli for the stir fry tonight. Peas, looking good. Let me get the super hots. Here are some habs that uh, self seeded themselves. I'll take those off. And we're going to get over here and get in, get some of the ghost peppers. There's scorpion peppers in there too, but all the super hots. Okay, so I did pick up a pumpkin too to bake. And these are all the super hots. They will stay in one place. And I did say I would sort these. So I'll organize these all into well, some sort of category. And I'll also tell you how I'm going to cook them if you want to hang around or process them. It's a great way to really take care of everything that you see here. So here's everything that I harvested. The uh, sweet peppers are all over here, mostly bell types. They're going to be given away to friends. I'll just use them raw and stir fries. I'll be using that tonight. These are the Thai culinary. They're going to be dried, put into a mason jar. Jalapenos will be sliced up, put into a 50% apple cider vinegar solution with water, salt, spice, garlic, and they'll be jarred. Uh, cayenne peppers right in there will be dried. The eggplant, of course, is it Baba Ganoush or Pop Ganoush or Mama Ganoush, I don't know or ganache, whatever. I'm gonna make that dip um, out of the eggplant, give some of them away. And, you know, I encourage people to cook, just like I say, garden, just get started. You know, I'll look up a recipe, try and find what the heck I'm talking about, and see what I can make out of the eggplant. That's the only way to learn. Poblanos, they will be seared, uh, high temperature in a frying pan, till they brown, blacken, peel off the skin, slice them up, freeze them, and I'll just take them out when I need them. Peas, broccoli going into the stir fry today. The pumpkin gets baked. You just scoop out the pumpkin when it's uh, softened and you just you know use it like mashed potatoes or sweet potatoes. And then the uh, super hots, I think there's three varieties in there. Don't grow as many as I used to because I don't need them. So I'll give them away to the people I know that really like them. And then all the facing heaven peppers are gonna go into the garage so I can process them. Some of them will be dried whole some of them will be seeded before drying so that I can collect the seeds, sell them at my seed shop. But pretty nice harvest, all in all. Wish you all a great late fall, winter, um, and stick with me. I'll be doing as much gardening as I can through December into January. We're going to start a whole series again on seed starting, and I'm going to do it a little bit differently. Thanks for watching, and again, please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.